What's up, bringers? This is Travis from my brain back. Welcome to your 22nd Android tutorial. Thanks again for watching, subscribing, telling your friends, telling your relatives, your great aunts and uncles about this channel. I definitely appreciate all that. I know you guys are doing that for me, so thank you for doing that. And what we're going to do in today's tutorial is basically set up the Java, set up all of our references, um, and kind of change, be able to change that uh, top display of. Uh, of our wallpaper app. Nothing too awesome or sweet, it's kind of boring and, boring and tedious to be honest with you, but what we're going to do is we're going to open up our Tutorial 3 Java here. And also just let you know there, there is a more efficient way that we could have uh, could do this, but I think this is the easiest way to describe it at the moment. We'll get into more complicated things down the road, but first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up an image view and we're going to call this uh, Oops, image view, and we're just going to call this display. And this is going to be our top displaying uh, image for our emulator. And we need to import the image view. And as you notice, I did this above our onCreate method so we can use it within our whole activity. Um, but then everything else we're basically going to define within the onCreate activity. And so we're just going to set first set up what display equals. So we're going to say display equals, and it's image view kind of familiar uh, layout of pretty much everything that we've set up as a view from XML and again we're going to just say find view by ID r dot uh, ID dot uh, IV display and then semicolon nothing too new there and then we're just going to set up all our other image views so I'm just going to say something like image view um, image one and you, again you can do like image two and like etc but I'm just gonna do it this way um, just so I can change it more easily I, is that even a word easily I think so I don't know sometimes I think I'm getting dumber as time goes by so we're just gonna set up basically these references is dumber a word? Ah, I'm just kidding. But uh, there we go. We set up for our first reference, and um, you know, again, this is just the uh, pretty basic. You guys probably know how to do this all. I'm just gonna copy and paste, and set up all seven images. I believe I had. So nothing too awesome or sweet like I said, but uh, we're going to get our application working a little bit here. So now we have all our references set up and the only other thing that we need to do is uh, set basically our on click listener and we're basically going to use these images as buttons. Um, pretty much the same way we'd set up a button except we're going to set up as an image view except it is an image view I'm sorry so again we could just do like image view dot oops image one dot set on click listener and we could uh, you know do new view just like we always do but as you guys can see when we're setting up seven different images that's gonna be a lot of code and it's gonna be kind of unnecessary so first way we're gonna clean this up we're gonna type in this and again this will refer to the context and basically when we implement something it's going to basically refer to what whatever we're implementing most likely so um, that's kind of the layman's terms for it but as we go down here uh, hover over this error message we can say let tutorial 3 implement on click listener so we're going to click that and there we go there's our on click listener that has been implemented now again tutorial 3 is giving us a problem because we aren't using the method from the on click listener and we have to every time we import it so we're gonna hover over this and say add unimplemented methods and here's our on click listener so basically before we set up our on click listener within here and then we'd say on click but you know this is a much more simplistic way of doing it so we're just gonna copy that again paste it however many times however many images you guys got I should say 
and change the references four five six and seven and they're all going to be sent to this on click um, because this is going to refer to whatever it's implementing on click listener and, uh, and it's going to be sent down here so there we go we kind of have up our uh, buttons set up to a sense I'm sorry our images set up to a sense but now we need to do something within the on create or on click method oh man cannot speak with anything today and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a switch case again um, and uh, it's just a simple way to kind of check which button has been pressed and as you can see within the parameter it's uh, sending in a view so it's basically referring to uh, these all these are views and it's gonna tell us the ID of the views so what we can do is just say um, switch and we're going to look for V, which is whatever is being passed in. They renamed it V just for this method. And uh, we're going to say get ID. <clears throat> That's going to give us the ID of, of our uh, image view there. So we're going to get an open bracket right there. And then we're going to set up our cases. So we're going to say like case r.id.imageView1 and then a colon and we're gonna set the display image that top image again so we're gonna set the display to basically whatever image has been clicked on so we're gonna say set image and it's set image resource and we're gonna say r dot drawable dot uh, back abstract Again, you want to make sure this uh, this reference is the same as for what you whatever picture you labeled for image one. And for me, I luckily just did uh, you know this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So sorry, I should have uh, kind of described that as we did the last tutorial. But yeah, just make sure that's the same. And then um, what else we're gonna do? we're just gonna say break and we're just gonna copy and paste this again like I said boring tutorial worst tutorial ever but uh, there we go four five six seven and then again just I'm gonna probably clip the video but change the image view to whatever image view you guys are working with and then change the resource to match that image so I'm gonna clip the video. All right, and we're back. Hope you guys didn't miss me as much as I missed you. And uh, basically, we set up our references, and we set up them to be clickable. And when they are clicked, we changed our display image to basically whatever image we clicked on. So hopefully that works. I'm gonna save it and test it out real quick. Um, make sure I don't have any, you know, errors or anything. It's always good, you know, to test your program as you as you develop, so you can kind of spot those errors. So it makes it a lot easier than trying to debug everything at the end and have no idea where your errors at. But uh, yeah, we're gonna hopefully get this program to work. And also, if you guys don't get it to work, you can join the forum at mybringback.com. Hopefully, everyone there is pretty helpful, and I'll also try to help you if I can if I'm in there. But uh, let's test this out. We're gonna we can scroll through and click it and it changes our display image. Looks like it's working pretty well. I'm just gonna test all of them, but yeah, there we go. And then the next tutorial, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this button set this uh, display image to the phone's background. So I'll catch you guys then. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.